Joel Face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's going to be the intro to the video. <laughs> Welcome to BusyBTV, I'm your host Lucas Weekly, and this week we're gonna be troubleshooting a scratch build. So when you design your own airplane, it's probably not gonna fly exactly how you want it to right off the bat. So you're gonna to need to know how to troubleshoot, find, and fix the problem, and that's what we're gonna be doing today with this airplane. So before we get started, let's go over what this plane is. This is my pylon racer design from a while ago. For the body, it uses an arm and wing, a sanded blue wall insulation foam fuselage, and of course, a V-tail. This plane has four servos, two under the wing and then two for the tail. It also has a microjet version three spinning a six by four prop with a 25 amp speed control, orange receiver and a V-tail mixer for the V-tail. Now that you know the plane, we need to find out what the problem is. So let's check out the maiden flight. So just checking directions, everything's perfect. Motor. Okay. So it's pretty clear from that video that this plane is really pitchy, but something that you didn't see was I was always trying to point the nose down because the plane always wanted to rise up. And that's because my center of gravity is way far back, especially for a pylon racer. So today that's what we're gonna be tackling and that's what we're gonna be fixing. And the way that we're gonna do that first off is by moving the battery. When I'm fixing a CG issue on an airplane, I never wanna add weight to the nose. This is just adding to the overall weight of the airplane, making it slower. So what I try to do is move the battery as far forward as I can get it. So starting off with this airplane, I had originally the battery all the way back here. And then I, that was obviously too tail heavy. Then I brought it down here all the way up against the foam and that was still tail heavy. So for today, I'm gonna to be getting this new battery that I got, it's skinnier, and I'm gonna put it in this slot all the way up against the firewall and hopefully this will work. So let's go do that. Okay, so here are the changes that I made. Now the door opens from the side because there's more stuff to put into it. And it's a lot more snug. The battery is all the way up in the front, as you can see, and the ESC is on top of it. Now everything else is the same, so let's go find out if it flies. Thank you. 
So as you saw from the flight footage, this plane is still a bit pitchy, but I did fix the CG issue, so that's great. Now that's it for this episode, but next time we'll be going over more about how to fix the pitch issue, and we'll probably be changing up the tail. So if you like my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching.